Hello everyone, Anand this side. So today we want to discuss about search for the missing number. Now, let's read the problem statement. Find the missing number in the given list of integers. The list contain 1 to 10 integers, but one of the integers is missing. And there are no duplicates in the list. And there are no duplicates in the list. Can I say that all the elements are unique in the list? The first inference is all the elements are unique in this list. Right. Now, what about the second entrance? Can I say that based on the problem statement, all the integers which are given it to you are in the range from 1 to 10? Right. And one of the element is missing. So, how many integers are given it to you? If out of 1 to 10, one element is missing or one number is missing. So, how many elements are given it to you? Can I say 9 elements? Right. So, 9 elements are given it to you. All the elements are unique numbers will be between 1 to 10 and one of the element is missing now many people will ask the question what if two elements are missing then what will be the solution what if element contains duplicate right now the point is you should always stick to the problem statement which is mentioned right so if it says that the integers will be in the range from 1 to 10 definitely the integer will be in the range from 1 to 10 it doesn't make sense to put up the question what if list contain 100 so if list contains 100 there will be a different solution for the problem statement what if the elements are duplicates if the elements are duplicate we will look into the different approach but as of now, what we are discussing, we are keeping these points in mind that all the elements are unique and the numbers are between 1 to 10 and one of the element is missing, right? If you are clear with the problem statement, let's move forward. Okay. So in this array, which element is missing? Can I say that 1 is present, 2 is present, 3? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 is present. So basically 9 is missing, right? So 9 is an output for the sample example. Let's look into the another set of example. Okay. So in this example, what will be the output? If this is your input, then what is the output? So 1 is present, 2 is present, 3 is present, 4 is not present, right? 4 is not present. So 4 is not present, definitely all the elements from 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 will be present, right? Because it is clearly mentioned in the problem statement that one of the numbers is missing. As soon as you found that particular number, there is no point of checking for the remaining values. You can see 1, 2, 3. Uh, 4 is not there, 5 is there, 6 is there, 7 is there, 8, 9, 10. So all the remaining numbers are there except 4. Now, what should be your logic in order to tackle this current problem statement? How you will approach towards this problem statement? Just pause the video. Think for at least a couple of minutes. Then you can continue watching the same. Okay. Can I say that, can I say that you will first search whether 1 is present or not? Can I simply iterate in this array and check whether 1 is present or not? Is 1 present in this array? Yes, present. Then I should go for 2. Is 2 present in this array? Yes or no? Yes, 2 is present over here. 
let's move forward then i'll check for is three present in this array yes it's available cool then i'll check for whether four is present in this array or not is four present in this array the answer is no right so the point is once you figure it out that once you figure it out that 4 is not present is there any point of searching whether 5 is present or not 6 is present or not 7 is present or not 8 is present or not so and so on no right because once you find the missing number definitely all the remaining numbers would be there in the array you don't have to worry about it because it's mentioned in the problem statement does it make sense let's move to the eclipse and write on the code now there are multiple ways to tackle this current problem statement i listed down the multiple ways but let's try to come up with a logic what you have discussed in the whiteboard cool so can i say that i'll first check for whether one is present in this array or not let me declare the array cool so this is a given array and what was the logic the logic was to check whether one is present or not can i simply write the check function and figure it out whether one is present or not can i say that once i figure it out that one is present one is present i should check whether two is present or not then i should do the same thing for three and so on so if you notice that this particular check function is called multiple times if this function is called multiple times should i write it multiple times or shall i keep it in the loop it makes more sense to keep in the loop right so let's write down the loop now can i say that how many times this loop will work how many times this loop is going to work can i say that this loop will work for 10 times because i'm searching for one then i'll search for two then three then four then so on right so can i say that my key should start with one and key should go till 10 and key plus plus make sense so can i say that this loop will run for 10 time and every time i'm searching for the key because initially key is one i'll pass key next time what i'll do loop will iterate and key value will become two so to the same check function i'm passing key and this time key value is two so it will search for whether two is present or not okay now let's try to understand what should be the written type of this check function it has to simply say whether that key is present or not so can i say that boolean will work because it doesn't matter where that element is present so we are not returning the index we are just simply returning whether that key is present or not if key is present if key is present what should we do if key is present then what should we do we should move forward and what if if key is not present if key is not present definitely it will return false if it is written false can i say that this is the value for which i was looking for i should simply print that particular key and after printing that particular key i should break the loop remember we discussed that there is no point of iterating over the key once you figure it out which value is missing and to this check function the logic would be pretty simple we will be iterating in the array if i want to iterate in the array i should start with the zeroth index and i should go till the end now here what should i do i should check if array of i if array of i if it is equal to key or not that means i'm iterating over the loop at each time one of the value from array will come and substitute over here and that i'm comparing it with the key if it is equal if it is equal i, I should simply return true now once this loop is executed and still you're not able to find the key once this loop is executed and still you're not able to find the key then what should i do i should return false that's what i'm doing it over here uh, let's 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 try to trace this up so initially what will happen key will be initialized with value one to this check array function array with the value one will be passed now here what is going to happen you're gonna 
iterate in the array you will iterate in this array while iterating what you will do you will try to find is there any value which is equal to key and can i say that key value is equal to 1 so i0 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 and in the first iteration it will give you the value 10 array of i 10 we will compare 10 with 1 is it equal to 1 no right then you will move forward that means i plus plus and you will get the value 8 is 8 equal equal to 1 again no same thing goes with 9 is 9 equal equal to 1 again no right and then you will look 5 equal equal to 1 again no right then the value is 1 is 1 equal equal to 1 correct so you gonna return true from here does it make sense that for one you're gonna return true and if you're returning true you will say is true equal equal to false condition is false so you won't go to inside the if condition and your key value will change this time key value is 2 so can I say that you will call the check function again by passing array and key as 2 same hangama will return will repeat again but instead of value 1 this time you will compare it to the value 2 right and next time and 2 is also present 2 is also present and next time you will do the same thing with array of 3 make sense now when you will call the check function again with array of 4 what will happen you are over here you call this check function by passing an array and by passing key as 4 you will iterate in this array you will iterate in this array and try to find the value which is equal to key is there any value which is equal to key in this array in this array is there any value which is equal to key no right so it will come out of the loop and it will return false as soon as this will return false false equal equal to false because false is stored in the is present value right so is present is false false equal equal to false condition true and you will print that particular key that means as soon as you will display 4 you will break and come out from the loop so this is all about the trace of this current problem statement there are multiple ways to solve the current problem statement uh, let me list it down you can use sum of first and natural number formula to find this you can also use hashing to figure it out and there is also one of the way when you sort the array and play with the indexes right now we have discussed one of the solution for the missing number problem statement thanks for watching it's Anand signing off.